It's a horrible day in the mass pit. A horrible day in the mass pit. It's so creepy. Hey everyone, Nick down here in the mass pit once again with a very special video. This is my interview with the one, the only, the man, the myth, the monster, yes, from Halloween 2, Dick Warlock himself. Um, every time I'm working on one of one of these masks here, when I'm styling the hair, when I'm doing the weathering, the painting and everything, I wonder why does this look this way, why does that look that way, and every time I get a question, I would write it on this uh, little piece of paper for, for probably the past maybe over a year, and with the intention that someday I am going to ask Dick Warlock himself these questions, and well that day came. I was able to uh, talk with Dick for a little uh, phone interview, and uh, he just answered the questions right off the top of his head, and um, it was it was very it was very fulfilling to me to get these questions answered because I didn't know the answer to them, and they may have been answered at some other interview. Dick has done tons of interviews, but you know I, I haven't seen every interview. So uh, hopefully you will gain some knowledge with this interview also. And uh, you, oh, you'll notice at the end of the interview, it ends kind of <laughs> abruptly. That's because, uh, well, I, had my, I, I do my phone interview, had my phone right here with my camera set up, and right at the end of the interview, uh, my camera died. The battery died or the memory ran out or something. So it ends abruptly, but that was basically the end of the interview. We said our goodbyes and 10-4 uh, good buddy over and out, and uh, that was the inter the interview. So you didn't miss anything. Um, so uh, let's get on with the interview right now. Oh, oh, go. I'll be glad to do that for you, Nick. Okay, okay. Hey, can I ask you a few questions? I know I know you just said you don't like to do phone interviews, but I'm, I'm going to do a phone interview as a matter of fact Friday. Is it Friday? Today at five o'clock. So go ahead and ask your question. Okay, here. Here's my quick questions. I've been writing these on a little piece of paper while I'm making masks so I could remember to ask you. Let's see. Okay. Now, the first one I already asked you a few months ago. How did you get your name? Uh, a friend of mine named Jerry Vance, who I've known for years and years. We met in 1956 at Cordenville. He had seen a movie called Warlock, which was uh, a Western and he called me and he said, Dick, you've got to change your name to Warlock. He said, they'll, they'll never mispronounce it. They may misspell it. They may spell it W-O-R instead of W-A-R. But he said, uh, it'll be memorable. And uh, so I went shortly after that to the guild and changed it to uh, Richard Warlock. And I go by Dick most of the time, but sometimes I'm credited as Richard, but that's how I got it. Oh, okay. All right. Now here, he and, and Jerry Vance, incidentally, Jerry Vance, uh, my buddy, was the first double for Bruce Lee on the Green Hornet. Oh, really? He was in the business as well. Okay. Uh, my my other questions go back to while you were filming uh, Halloween too. Now, specifically about the mask. Now, these are things, I don't know if you're going to remember little little picky questions like this, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Now, while you were filming the, uh, the movie and you had the mask in your possession, how did you, what did you do with the mask in between takes while you weren't actually filming a scene? Carried it around with me most of the time. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, now, did they ever, like, try to clean the mask up? Like, this thing's getting pretty ratty, you know. Can somebody run a washcloth across it? Did any, was there any kind of mask care or anything? No. No, really? See, now the, none, none that I know of. Oh, okay. And, and now also, when you were filming a scene, because the hair is such an important part of that mask in the movie and in pictures and everything... Was the hair ever, like, consciously styled? Like, let's get a little piece sticking out over here and a little piece sticking out over here. Was, was there ever a stylist for the hair? No. I no. I pulled it on and ran my hands from the front as far back as I could. That's why I think the back sticks out like it does. And I don't know, as far as the pieces sticking out, uh, I 
never messed with those at all, and neither did anyone else. They just what they, they are what they are when I put it on. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And, and was there ever any any discussion, because it was made two years after the, the first movie, and the mask looked a little bit different, was there any discussion, like, these shots aren't matching up with the first movie, you know, the, the mask doesn't look the same. Was there any discussion about that? No. No. The only time I ever heard a discussion about a mask is when I got a call on H2O. When they were doing H2O, my wife, Kathy, answered the phone, and it was the production manager, I think, that asked her about the possibility of my coming back to uh, do, the, do the role of Michael, bringing the mask, I guess, was, was part of it. But by the time I got home, they had called back and said, no, we apologize, but we're stuck with what we have. They got too much film invested on Chris and the way the mask looks on him. And so thank you, but no thank you. But that's the only discussion about a mask I ever heard, but nothing about the one that I wore. Oh, okay, okay. And you, you know the uh, the tire patch that they put on the puncture mark? Yeah, it was a, just a double thickness of the rubber. Oh, really? It wasn't an actual tire patch? No. Oh, oh okay. And, and when was that put on? Do you, do you remember? Sometime during the, 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 when they shot the first movie. Yeah, yeah the knitting needle. Oh, so they put that on during the first movie. Okay, I was I thought it may have been put on during the second movie or even after the Oh. And oh, okay. And now here's a a question about a picture that surfaced maybe about 2 years ago. And it's a picture of you standing next to Donald Pleasance outside. You have your mask on and he's holding a drink and it looks like you're you're outside in front of a red fence, and you are. It looks like there's a like there's a buffet set up outside, and that you're just having a, a lunch buffet or something. Oh, is he got a, just a white? What is he wearing? He's wearing just a white shirt, and he's uh, he he's holding a he's holding a glass with it looks like it might be a a cocktail or it might be just a coke. I don't know. And you okay, you. Okay, if he's just wearing his white shirt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I had the costume on. I had the mask on and everything. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. So that, I'll bet that's when it was taken. Okay, yeah, I wondered what the story was behind that. Yeah, the only time we would have been yeah, no, no, it's okay. We've got uh, we still got a few minutes left on the interview. Is still playing. So uh, where where are your uh, green coveralls, by the way? Oh, they're, they're the cleaners. They can't get the blood stains out. Oh, well, Dick, I told you before, you got to stop killing so many people. I mean. That's got to cost you a fortune in dry cleaning bills. And oh, oh, I know the reason you're here is because you're looking for a for a new mask. So uh, uh, tell me, Mr. Warlock, how much are you uh, willing to spend? You want to trade? Trade what? What do you got? Oh, a pumpkin. Well, Dick, Halloween's over. You gotta you gotta get used to that. But uh, maybe I can use it. Uh, oh, a uh, knife? Wait a minute. Look at this. It's bent. Well, maybe I can put it in the vise and straighten it out. And, oh. Oh, a syringe? What am I get? Wait. There's something in here. The COVID vaccine? Oh, well, I guess, I guess, <laughs> I guess we can talk a little uh, wheeling and dealing here, Dick. We'll, we'll do that later. But, uh, but oh, everyone, uh, <laughs> Dick Warlock uh, just happened to come into the mask pit, just happened to be in the neighborhood. And uh, he wanted me to uh, thank everybody for all of your support through the years. And if you have ever met Dick at a convention or, or anywhere, uh, you are so fortunate because you have met a living legend. Really, a true walking, talking, living legend. And uh, 
it, uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. I don't know what else to say. Is it? What? Oh, he wanted me to tell you also that he just gave his uh, website, dickwarlock.com, a overhaul. And uh, just like a mask overhaul, he gives his website an overhaul. Uh, but anyway, there's pictures on there. And one thing that I liked, I, I checked it out the other day. He included a blog on his website, and I'm sure you're going to be updating that uh, every now and then to let us know just what Dick Warlock is doing today. And uh, so uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the interview. And who knows, maybe, maybe we'll do another one, Dick, sometime, you know. But uh, we've got our appointment. I've got to take him down to get his uh, coveralls of the dry cleaners. So come on, Dick. We've got to... Dick, come on. no, we've got to go. I know you want to hang around the mask pit, but we got to go and get your your real cover. Oh, Dick, you're you're a little stiff there. Did you ever hear about glucosamine? Yeah, that'll loosen your joints right up. Is that your bones creaking or mine? Oh, hey there, uh, Nick, down here in the mask pit. And I'm bringing you a very special uh, video today uh, because uh, about the <laughs> let's do this whole thing right over. Oh hey, oh what happened here? Uh, we're just gonna keep going on with the video here. Okay, come on. Uh, um, okay, let's do that again. And very special video today. It's my interview with the one in the. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah, I know. It's just about. Oh, 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 oh Dick. Wh while you're here, would you sign? This is this is my favorite picture of you. Uh, would you just sign this while you're here? That's not you, Michael Myers, Nick Castle. Are you sure? So, you, can you just sign Nick Castle's name? No, come on. 